Beginning in the 1970s, the United States Supreme Court decided a series of cases in which the court held that people's procedural due process rights had been violated in a variety of ways concerning their property interests and liberty interests. What is the remedy for such a constitutional violation? In particular, when may compensatory money damages be recovered? The court addressed this issue in Carey v. Pyphus. Jarius Pyphus attended a public high school in Chicago. His principal encountered Pyphus and a friend appearing to be smoking what the principal believed was marijuana. The principal ordered the assistant principal to impose the standard sanction of a 20-day suspension for use of illegal drugs. The students denied smoking marijuana, but the assistant principal suspended them. School officials later met with Pyphus and his mother. School officials refused to hold a hearing on the factual question of whether Pyphus had been smoking marijuana and instead merely provided the reason for Pyphus's suspension. Silas Briscoe attended a public elementary school in Chicago. One day, he came to school wearing a small earring, in violation of the school's rule prohibiting male students from wearing earrings. The rule was in place because the principal believed that earrings worn by male students were a gang sign. Briscoe refused to remove his earring because he said it was a sign of black pride, not gang affiliation. Briscoe was suspended for 20 days without any type of pre-suspension hearing. The Pyphuses and Briscoes filed civil rights lawsuits under 42 U.S.C. Section 1983 against school officials in the United States District Court in Chicago. Both alleged that the boys' suspensions without a pre-suspension hearing violated procedural due process. Both sought compensatory money damages. Their cases were consolidated for trial. The district court held that the two suspensions violated the boys' procedural due process rights. The court refused to award compensatory damages, however, after finding that there was no evidence of any compensable injuries caused by the constitutional violations. The court dismissed their complaints. The Pyphuses and Briscoes appealed to the United States Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit. The appeals court held that the boys were entitled to recover substantial compensatory damages simply based on the denial of their procedural due process rights. The Court of Appeals remanded to the District Court to determine such damages. School officials, including Chicago School Board President John Kerry, successfully petitioned the United States Supreme Court to review the boys' cases.